Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So this is something a lot of you have been waiting for. I got a lot of uh, comments and questions. When are you going to open up your uh, sorghum juicer so that they can see it? There are people who are interested also in getting one. And so we're going to give you kind of a rundown on TuboBiz, is the company we ordered from. Also, the unboxing of the juicer. We're going to do that today. This thing is built like a tank. Uh, Tim's going to help me take it apart. We got to make sure we get all the nails up because we definitely don't want any of these nails working their way out in the driveway. Uh, for any reason. So we're just going to go ahead and take this thing apart, unbox it, and then give you the rundown on what's inside and uh, the whole experience with uh, ordering uh, from TuboBiz. So stick with us while we tear this thing apart. Well, it was about a year ago, and I started looking for a cane juicer, a sugar cane juicer that I could use on our sorghum. I basically made the decision I was going to want to raise sorghum here. I wanted to find a crop that would um, we could use for a cash crop, something that grows easy. And after talking to a few people who live in the area, they were like, Zach, sorghum grows really good here, and so you should give that a try. And so I was convinced, but you know, you got to find a way to press that. And what people have done in the past is they would get uh, basically these uh, cast iron contraptions that they hook a horse up to and they run it in circles and it would press the cane and out would come the juice. However, um, uh, I don't have a horse. Um, those cane machines, the people I check with, they were really expensive and uh, I didn't want to spend that, that kind of money for it. Also, they're just not as efficient as the machines that they have out today. And so I started looking for some modern machines. And I, I even went to some places where I looked at some of the old stuff, the old antiques. But I just, no, I just couldn't bring myself to um, buy something that really needed to be refurbished first and uh, wasn't as efficient. And while we do have the, while we do have the generator power, um, I thought might as well go ahead and buy something electronic, buy, buy some kind of a machine that we can use this. And like I said, they're very, they're a lot more efficient today than they were back then, uh, than these old horse-drawn versions. And um, let's just, you know, if the grid goes down, I can still grow s sorghum here, and there's plenty of these horse-drawn cast iron things around here. You know, they'll go back into use real quick, I'm sure. But um, in the meantime, I think we're going to try this. So I started looking around, found some companies. There were some companies out there that uh, there was an American company that just had some bad reviews on it. And um, then there was a couple foreign com com uh, companies out there that made these. And this one had the best reviews. It had, it seemed like the best communication of all the companies. There was, they were really trying to make an effort to reach out to their customers and um, put out a really, you know, to, to stay in contact with them and keep them updated with new things in the industry and, and just show them where they're going in the industry and, and all of the strides they're making to put out a really good product. And I like that. That was TuboBiz. It was uh, canemachines.com. And I, I, ha I have nothing but good things to say about that company, um, especially when it comes to the communication back and forth with the owner. The guy's name is David, and uh, he communicates directly with his customers, does so very, um, very quickly. Every time you email him, he's really quick to email you back and get an answer to you. And so I, and he, I can tell he's a really busy guy. Um, so I like that. Um, the one snafu that we had with TubaBiz and CaneMachines.com was, uh, it said they said on their in their materials that they, um, uh, if you wanted to save money and you didn't need the machine right away, to go ahead and order Ocean Freight, and it would take a few months to get there, but it'd be a lot cheaper. I'm like, well, I don't need it right away. I don't need it till this, till this fall, so I might as well do the Ocean Freight. And the Ocean Freight was was just as expensive, actually a little more expensive than it would have been just to have it mailed to me by air. Um, I, I, there were so many fees and cost and customs. And so my only advice, I highly recommend this company so far. I mean, I haven't used the machine yet. We're going to try it out this fall when it comes time to harvest. And I, have a, I may have a completely different opinion at that point. 
and we'll update this video if that's the case. But I, so far, this looks really well made. And but my, my advice to anyone who orders from Tubo Biz is to just do the air freight, just do the um, the uh, just just do the over you know UPS shipping or whatever it is. Don't do the ocean freight because they're gonna they're gonna nickel and dime you because it's not up to Tubo Biz. It's up to all the the customs and different ports that go, every port that it goes into. They basically hold this thing for ransom until you send them some money. And it's, it's going to be really expensive. So just order the air freight. It'll be there quick. You'll have it in a week. And, you know, you'll avoid any hassles. Plus all the paperwork I had to fill out. I had to fill tons of paperwork out just to do the ocean freight customs thing. It's crazy. Just do the air freight. It'll, it'll make it a lot simpler. And you'll have your machine quickly. But let's go take a look at this. Okay, so the version we have here, I believe it's called the, the TT750 Pro. Um, I'll, put a, I'll put it on the screen. And um, this is what they recommended after I told them I was going to be doing sorghum. They said sorghum is a smaller cane, but it is harder to crush. And they would recommend this machine. And so uh, I believe it has a, one, a full one horse uh, power uh, motor inside of it. And... Um, you know, it's just, it's, it really matches the quality that they stated on their website. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. It's got this screen. This is where the, uh, the juice comes through, and it has a micro filter, and it's all made with 304 food grade stainless steel. Uh, seems very well built. Um, you can see the micro filter right there. So it, it comes out. So there's the micro filter, all stainless steel. And there's the tray right there. And it's just, I mean, it's like you'd see in a professional kitchen. It's got a lot of, uh, I mean, it's, it's really, really nice, really pretty, really well put together, it looks like. It's got a glass top so you can see what's happening inside the rollers. You put uh, the cane in here and um, the rollers take it and send it through. And uh, it's got the on off switch here. Um, I mean, I, I was kind of curious because I, I thought, you know, there's some things, you know, I wish that, you know, I think I'd already change on this if I could, but there's no... I don't know what is what. I mean, the dial turns, but there's no markings on here, you know, of what is what. Let me see if I can change that. Turn that to you so you can see that. But there's no on. What's the on-off switch? I don't know. I guess when the light turns green, it's on. And I'll figure it out once the first time I run it. But there's no there's no on-off there on the, on the metal. So I don't really know what is what on the, on the... There's nothing on the button. So that's kind of weird. Okay, if you go around the back here, you can undo these little knobs. Turn that right there, loosen those, and this pops up just like that. And you have full access to the rollers, so you can see that. And this glass comes out to be cleaned, so you can clean the glass, no problem there. Looks all great. And this uh, looks, these like really heavy duty. I mean, these are some serious rollers in here. Um, let me see if I can give you a close up. Looks like some serious rollers for sure. That will do some crushing. And look at, look at how small that gets. That sorghum is going to get squished in there for sure. I mean, you can barely see through that. So that looks really neat. And there's three rollers. So there's a roller in front there as well. So it's going to go through the first roller, get squished there, and then get squished again as it goes through what you're looking at right now before it comes out the chute. So we're in here in our outdoor kitchen, and we've got this thing uh, set up right now. This thing, another thing to point out, this thing is super, super heavy. This is a very heavy machine. Um, and uh, we're going to have to build some supports underneath the counter to support the weight of this thing once sorghum season comes. Uh, we're going to set it on the floor now until Tim has a chance to go in and um, uh, build some supports underneath the counter, because I don't want to keep it up here too long. And so uh, it's really heavy, folks, really super heavy. Um, but that's good. I want a heavy machine. I want, I want it to last. I want it to be a heavy-duty motor, and I believe it is. And so, I mean, I have no complaints about that. I just want it to last for a long time. Uh, they even give instructions uh, on their website. And, uh, you know, he, David over at Tubo Biz is very, mu very much makes himself available, it seems like, to answer questions. And so there may come a time when you, know, you get a lot of use out of this thing where you, you're going to have to replace the bearings inside of there and it, it allows you to do that you can replace the bearings um you can uh service you know grease the the, the belt that's in here it's, it's a chain uh you know every, everything here is serviceable it seems like and that that's good i want a machine that i can service myself and that i can keep up and running i'm not one of these people who are going to run to a service shop every time i have a snafu i want to try to fix things myself i want machines that allow you to
to work on them. It's like cars today, folks. You can't even buy a, tr a vehicle today that you can work on. You know, they want they don't want you working on vehicles because they want you to take it to a service center and have it worked on and pay money to have somebody do it. But I really like David. I mean, I know you're watching the video. I really like the fact that you made this machine so that the end user can service them because, you know, a lot of us poor farmers out here, we are do-it-yourselfers and we want to be able to work on things ourselves uh, instead of paying someone else to do it for us. So that's cool. Really like that. So again, here's the front of the machine. And when I opened it up, we uh, took the, the crate apart. I was expecting to find some sort of uh, manual or significant instru significant instructions and all they had kind of included was this brochure uh, which does have a lot of great information in there I was looking through it uh, gives pointers on chain adjustment and rollers that won't turn or some maintenance operations that you can do and so but it was just that little pamphlet um, I'm, there's all listen guys there's a lot of good good videos they have on their website uh, a lot of good instructions and information. If you need more, I'm sure you can find it all online. Um, but it'd be kind of neat to have a little bit more of a significant manual. Um, maybe this doesn't need that much of a manual. Maybe it's just that simple to operate. I don't know. Only time will tell. Um, it does come with two of these scrapers. These are cane scrapers. You scrape the sides of the cane. It pulls the leaves off and scrapes off the, you know, the, the front skin of, of the sugar cane. I'm sure it'll work for sorghum too, but sorghum, we're just going to take the leaves off and run it through. But we do have some sugar cane inside the garden that's growing, growing really well. And I think uh, we're going to be able to treat some friends of ours who are coming over at some point in the fall and... Uh, use this machine to squeeze out some sugarcane juice and so we'll make a video when we do that for sure no doubt about it um but also let me just mention uh i guess if i was going to change anything on this i mean you know looking it over it looks like a great machine only time will tell if it works really good for our sorghum um, but the fact that it didn't have a very good you know manual uh, i didn't know what to do with this piece uh, it, it kind of comes together in some pieces uh, package separately so that you know nothing breaks or gets scratched up or whatever but this piece because there was no instructions I'm, I've tried to figure out where this piece goes in the back or inside somewhere here I can't figure out where this piece goes it's got these little you know lips on there but um, I'm just not sure where that where that goes and like I said the manual didn't really give me a, a good indication either um, if I could make some improvements on this I would you know include a more significant manual I would definitely label uh, what the reverse off and forward is on this machine so I knew and then also if I could improve it by putting on some threads on this thing so uh, you know because I don't understand this is built for a mall or built for a storefront use where you can place a jar here and then run your cane through and then get your juice and then serve your juice to your customer However, uh, for people like us, because folks, there is a big need for people, um, you know, who have grow sorghum in the Midwest. There are a lot of people who contacted me asking for more information on what we were going to get with this machine because they also want to grow sorghum. And people are moving back to sorghum. People are, are interested in it again because it's a, it's a great sugar con great sugar provider. And so um, I think you're going to find a lot more interest in machines like this. I think it would be great if you could put some threading on this spout so that I can hook up a hose to this and then run the syrup from here down into a container. Uh, just an idea, maybe some sort of threading on there that I could hook a hose up to and, and then, you know, take whatever this is producing out, not just in a jar here, but out and away from the machine that I can store and then going to our uh, evaporator that we're going to be boiling our, 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 our uh, juice down into syrup. So um, if that, that would be an improvement. The other thing, I don't, and I don't know what went wrong here, but the cord that was included with this, I mean... It's like dirty. It's like it's like they they tore this off an old vacuum cleaner, and just attached it to this machine. I, I don't I don't get it. Maybe, maybe they got down to the bottom of the cord pile that day and they ran out of cords and they're like, hey, grab that old grab that old you know shop vac over there and rip the cord off and plug it in. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like it's filthy. It looks like this has been in industrial use for ages. The rest of the machine is absolutely pristine and perfect condition. But the cord is like, it came off something that's been in use for 25 years. I, I, you know, out of a factory somewhere. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so I was just, I was totally, I was looking at the cord and I was like, what in the world? Um, either way, uh, this is the unboxing of this. I, I'm fairly certain this is going to 
provide us what we need for our sorghum to make some sorghum syrup this year and to go ahead and uh, um, allow us to make that product so that we can sell it on the website, give it to some of our patrons, and um, I think it's going to work out good. I, I just based on some of the reviews from other people that I've seen online, uh, I think this is going to work out well for us. And um, at some point, I'll talk to David and maybe work on maybe an upgrade uh, to something else, a little more industrial at some point. Um, he's still developing his products, and he's coming out all the time with new things. And so if you haven't, I would actually encourage you, if you're interested in this sort of thing, and if you're interested in growing your own sorghum or even your own sugar cane, because I'm in northwest Arkansas, and I'm telling you right now, sugar cane grows in northwest Arkansas. I've got a really big batch. Someone gave me some seeds. I planted them, and they're growing like gangbusters. And uh, giant stalks on that sugar cane. And um, I'm going to grow sugar cane from now on. So if you're interested in that, this is going to be what you're going to want. Something like this. Um, and, and like I said, the, the final test will be this fall when we figure it out. But um, so far, I'm pleased with them. Uh, I'm excited to get this thing running for the first time and taste that sweet sorghum and sweet sugar cane juice. All right, there's the unboxing, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below or go to TuboBiz's YouTube channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can ask directions or ask questions directly to uh, David himself. He's really good about getting back to people. Uh, again, you know, that's one thing about the company that I really liked was the communication was very quick back and forth. Uh, for any questions I needed answered. So, all right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll see you next time on an American Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American Homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American Homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the Homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American Homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.